Now let's look at one more example. Say if this is the ticker tape, I pull the ticker tape over this side and uh, I give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right? And this time it is measured from here right until here. And then I measured from here until only the second last. I did not measure the last one. Say this is six centimeter, this is a uh, uh, five centimeter okay five centimeter so again look at the direction the direction of pulling is here this will be your u this will be your v all right so what is your u your u is six centimeter divided by the time always count the spacing one two three three spacing three times 0 0.02 second so this will be uh, 100, uh, 100, 100 centimeter per second, 1 meter per second. And where is your V? Your V will be here. 5 divided by how many ticks are there? How many spacing are there? So the V will be equals to 5 centimeter divided by 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 ticks. 4 times 0 0.02 second, right? So this will be how much? This will be 5 divided by 0 0.08, 62.5 centimeter per second. When you divide by 100 to make it to meter, 0 0.625 meter per second, okay? By substituting the formula V minus U over T, okay? What is your V? Your V is 0 0.625. What is your U? This is your U. Your U is 1 over time. Now, where are you going to measure your time? You see, just now I told you the time is start to change. Where does it start to change? Look at my pen. Is it here? This is still initial. Still initial. Still initial. So this is the initial. It starts to change from here right until where it stops which is here, not here, because it did not measure to here. It only measured until here. So, one, two, three, four. It is four ticks also. Can you follow? So, if it is four ticks, then this will be four times 0 0.02 second, and then you work out. It is a negative answer, then it is a deceleration. All right? So, now, what happened is that I am now going to have a very long piece of paper, a very long piece of ticker tape, very, very long. I pull. I do the experiment. You have many, many. Well, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Many, many, many. Okay? It is recorded by, say, an object which is moving. Many, many, many. So what I'm going to do now is I am now going to cut every 10, every 10, every 10 uh, ticks. Every 10 ticks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 10, cut. So this is my A. I cut, cut. Every 10, 1, 2, 3, 10, cut. C, I cut. D, I cut. E, say all together I have cut. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right, all these are 10 ticks, 10 ticks, 10 ticks, 10 ticks, and 10 ticks. And after that, I glue it on a piece of graph paper. And so happened that these are the possibility. If I cut this A, I bring it over here, it becomes like this. This is my A, many, many, 10. This is the A, this is the A. Then I take the B, I cut it over here. It is happening to be like that also, all same length. I take the C, put here. I take the D. I take the E, all right, C, D, E, all happen to be same length. So this, what does it mean? When all these are same length, it means constant speed. It means uniform speed. All same speed, all constant speed, all right? Possibility number one. 
Possibility number two is I cut again. I cut A, B, C, D and I put it on a piece of paper and I glue it. When I glue it, say the first one, I cut and put it over here, it is like that. This is A. I cut the B, I put it over here, it becomes longer. This is B. And I cut the C, I put it over here, it's even longer. I cut the D, I put it over here, even longer. The last one, even longer. So this is D, this is E. Now, this time, I look at all these spacing are the same spacing, same spacing, same spacing, same spacing. So what does this show? It shows that the speed is increasing uniformly. This is in the speed is increasing uniformly. All right, because the spacing is the same. Right? Now, however, however, if I cut the piece of paper and it turned out to be like this, it turned out to be like this. Okay, I cut A. I cut the B here. I cut the C even more. I cut the D even more. And I cut the E even more. You see? This is A, B, C, D, and E. Now, how do I know? This is also increasing speed, but the distance is not the same. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, you see, if I want to make it even more accurate, uh, if I want to make it more accurate, what you do is you join all the middle point. When you join it, isn't it a straight line? Yes, increasing speed. But for this, if I join all the middle point, if you use a ruler, see my ruler, I put it, join here. See? I join. Is it going to touch? It's not touching. So this is not increasing. It is increasing uniformly. No, it is increasing non-uniformly. So the speed is increasing. The speed is increasing, but not uniform. Okay? So similarly, when you go down, 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 it's decreasing speed. So this is what you have, all right? Now, what kind of question you ask in exam? So say, for example, I give you a ticker tape. I have one, two, three, and four, okay? Now, these are all the length. Each of these, each strip, all these are called strip has 10 ticks, 10 ticks, 10 ticks, 10, 10. And this is the measurement. Say this is 5 centimeter. This is the length in cm. Okay, this is the strip, 5. And then I have uh, 8, I have 11, I have 14. All right, so my first question is, my first question is, we want to find out what is the average speed. What is the average speed? Now, average speed means what? Total distance divided by total time. Can you tell me what is the distance here? Very simple. Distance means you keep adding all the length. First strip, 5 cm. Second strip. 8 centimeter, third strip, 11 centimeter, and the fourth strip, 14 centimeter, divided by time. Time, one strip has 10 ticks, 10, 20, 30, 40. Altogether, you have 40 ticks, and one tick is 0.02 second. That is your answer. You add up. Okay, average speed.